Okay, so Robin, mm -hmm. we have established our base. Yes. We have a center line. Yes. Where we're going to put our bricks. Yes. And so now we're going to start laying down the bricks. Yes. This is how we learned on YouTube. <laughs> yes. On how to make a cob oven. Right. So, here's the first brick. Would you like the honor? Yes. Yes, I would. Now, the bricks, they have a... They have a concave and a convex on them. So really? Who wanna, knew? So we might want to find that and put the really the, Billy the concave down. We I think this side is the con side. This is the low side. Uh, yeah. It looks like to me. So this side would go up. Up. Okay. Turn on the That's the old carpenter eye. The stink eye and the carpenter eye. All right, there it is. The okay. first one. All right, so now let's take off from there. I'll bring you the bricks. Okay. I'll bring some more over. And then, I, and then, what you do is you supposedly kiss the bricks. So. What? We have to kiss the bricks. I have to kiss the bricks. That figures on an Orno flick. You got to kiss the bricks. Kiss the bricks, and they've got to be exactly. Okay, Robin. So what are we doing here? We are finding the radius of the actual inside of the oven, and we've made a T on uh, on the bricks, and we're going around 18 inches because that's the inside dimension of our oven. 18 and 18 is 36. And 18 and 18 is 36, and 36 becomes the calculation that we base everything off of. And we'll talk about that later. So this is going to be the, the line for our sand pile. Right. Our sand pile will start on this line. And Billy has very cleverly found this little divot at the end of the measuring tank. And so I'm trying to keep this little divot smack dab over the center of our T, of our little crosshairs here, thinking that that will probably give us a very decent radius. Now, who invented the cob oven, do you know? I think it has been around for millenniums, and I think some clever woman did it. Is that right? Well, some poor woman has got to feed her family and yeah, probably figured out something near the near the fireplace with some kind of old weedy stuff. I mean, I think it's ancient. Ask me. You don't think she said, honey, this cooking stuff is getting tired in the open. No, I think she made something near the fire and it turned out well. And then she said, I'm going to make it underground. And I don't know, but I suspect it's a woman. You know how I think it happened? No. I think they used rocks first. Yeah. Maybe. And then they said, we need to fill in the cracks. Right, we're losing too much heat. Losing heat. So then they found mud, dirt that stuck together if they wet it a little yeah. bit. Or maybe they remembered where their animals are, how tacky the mud was. Right. And said, hey, go out there and where the cows are walking around, grab some of that mud. Or something like that. I think it began right at the moment we started domesticating wheat. And domesticating animals. Maybe, maybe a thousand years after that. You need to cook. Yep. Okay. Oh, righty then. So there's our radius. Just showing you the line. Show you what we did there. All the way around. So what you got going there, Robin? was to make the perimeter of the um, of the uh, oven void. Yeah. This, that's the best way I can describe it. And so I'm just going around very carefully making the perimeter so that we can just start piling sand in the middle. We might be here all day. Well, yeah. Or we can put this right up here in the middle and then you can drag it from there. Yeah, I was just gonna, I just wanted to get the perimeter set. So Arabinsky, yep. you, got, you got your perimeter established there. Yep. And so now 
You just drag the sand over to the edges. Mm -hmm. and start right. moving it up to make a, a dome. And you think I have it wet enough? Yep, I do. I think it's perfect. Okay, so. Watching that video, mm -hmm. they use lots of water. That's what I thought too. You're right. We need to be way up here. Right. So our goal is above your head. Right. Okay. That's for short people. <laughs> Tall people, it's about chin high. push the sand around with it. Yeah, make it nice and smooth. So what you doing there, Robin? Well, I am putting newspaper on top to keep this mountain mound in good form and so we know where the sand ends and the cob begins when we finally pull out all the sand, which is going to be a job. Now we've made our arch out of wood that's going to support our bricks. We, our fire bricks here and what we're going to do is put a small layer down here on the bottom and stack one on top of that, a little clay on top of that and then the next brick and so on and so forth till we get all the way around and we're going to put a wedge underneath here so what happens is this will be slightly higher and once our clay dries we can pull the wedges out, this will drop, and it will come out. Okay, Robin, where are we at now on this cob oven? We have made our dome. It is 27 inches high. It is 75% of the width, of uh, the diameter of the base. Now we've just began the mock-up of our uh, door, and the door is 63% of the height of the dome. So. Billy made a door frame that to hold the bricks in place while we actually um, mortar them into place. And then, um, and then we're going to put sand in here so that they match up. Would that be about right, Billy? That's about right. Okay. Yep. Stay tuned. Yep, stay tuned. <laughs> 